What's going on everyone? Today is Sunday morning. We are headed in to church. We're late. Shelby's trying to keep up behind us, holding the coffee. And the diaper bag. <laughs> and the diaper bag. <laughs> Say hello, vlog. So we're going here in worship. Brady is gonna go in the nursery, right? Are you gonna be good in the nursery? He really doesn't like the nursery all that much, but there is no way we can sit in a service with him being in there because all he wants to do is just walk around. Checking him in. Get your little sticker. One eternity later. So just made it home from church. It is 2.30 in the afternoon. Brady's off to take a nap. The reason why we just got back from church and it's so late is because we joined the church today. So we've been going to this church for about four years. Very embarrassing to say. We're still not members there. But today they had a service afterwards that you could kind of get to know the church and join. So that's what we did. So now we are official members of this church here in Austin. So Brady, for good reason, was getting restless because his nap time is around two o'clock. So now I'm upstairs in my office getting a little bit of work done. I have an Instagram workout that I need to post later on this week and I'm getting clients planned. So anytime I personal train people, I always do their plans all day today, do all their nutrition and stuff so that they're ready to go on Monday. So I'm gonna get all this taken care of and then we're gonna head to the gym. Today is gonna be a push day. Well, ended up taking a nap, if you can tell by my face. I look so tired. So now it is 5.10 and I'm gonna have to go to the gym here like now so that I can get done with the gym. Uh, it felt so amazing, oh my gosh. Oh, I have not taken a nap in a while. Brady just woke up too actually, so when he slept, me and mommy slept, right Brady? You did so good, thank you. Thank you Brady. So, <laughs> he just wants to be in the camera. <laughs> fist bump, fist bump, Bye. boom. Not yet, not yet. So yeah, I'm gonna go over there, take a pre-workout, and then get to the gym. Uh, so this video is not gonna be that long, so I already made the decision while I was taking a nap because I thought about it. Uh, I'm gonna tie in this video into tomorrow's video. Oh, and I forgot to mention the diet has been incredible. I've not taken one cheat meal this week at all. <laughs> No, it has been going really good. I've been <laughs> keeping it clean uh, throughout the week, uh, going kind of like lower calories so that I can start losing body fat. I haven't started my prep officially because I'm not really sure when I'll be doing uh, my next photo shoot or anything. Muscle Tech still has not uh, said anything about it, but I do want to start leaning up so that when they do give me a time that I have to be shredded, it will be easier for me to get there so I don't have to dig really deep really quick. Got my pre-workout and all ready to go to the gym. Today, I'm gonna to be going to Gold's Gym instead of the other gym I go to that I can record at uh, because today's Sunday and Gold's Gym is never packed on a Sunday, so I'll be able to record. Uh, so it'll be a good change of scenery and everything and they have more equipment. So I like going to Gold's when I work chest and back because they have way more equipment uh, for those body parts. So yeah, we're gonna to head to the gym, get this push workout started. All right guys, so you get two workouts in one video again. Again, so I hope you enjoy it. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the first workout and this is the push workout. So I started off with decline machine press. I did five sets around 10 to 12 reps on the last set did a single drop set. Now I don't do that much decline movements for chest because I feel it more in my shoulders and I think that doing incline movements uh, will help develop your chest a little bit more than decline but it's always a good idea to change things up so that's the reason why I went with the decline press. After that went into incline dumbbell press I did four sets of around 10 to 12 reps on the last set did a double drop set I stuck around the 120 pound dumbbells here I did go up to the 130s uh, and it was just a little bit too heavy because I only got like eight reps uh, so I went back down to the 120s for those 10 to 12 reps after that went into flat machine press. I did four sets of around 12 to 15 reps on the last set, did a single drop set. Now, I'm still getting used to this push-pull leg split because I'm doing too much volume to be working each muscle group twice a week. I know I need to cut back because what you're trying to focus on when you're doing a push-pull leg split is total volume or total sets throughout the week. And right now, I'm doing too much volume, I know that. 
So I'm just gonna have to get my mind right and stick to the program because each time I go into the gym, I wanna feel dead and exhausted afterwards, so I end up doing more sets than what I should be doing. So after that, went into shoulders. I did seated Smith machine uh, shoulder press, four sets of around 10 to 12 reps on the last set did a double drop set and that's what you're watching right now so I would just go to failure drop off a 25 pound on each side and then go to failure again which was I guess around six to eight reps and then drop the weight once more go to failure again on the last one which you're watching right now I tried to hit 10 reps and I think I got eight reps with full range of motion and the other two reps was partial reps after that went with smith machine wide grip upright rows i did four sets of around 12 to 15 reps no drop sets on here so just going wide grip going up squeezing up at the top trying to bring my elbows up first now if you have shoulder problems i would suggest going light on this exercise and seeing if it hurts your shoulder some people can do it and they don't feel any pain and then other people do it and they can't do it without having severe pain in their shoulders. So feel it out, and if you have pain, don't do this exercise. After that, went into triceps. I did Smith Machine Close Grip Bench Press. I did four sets, 10 to 12 reps on the last set that you're watching right now. I did a double drop set. So when I do Close Grip Bench Press, my wrists aren't that close because the closer I go, the more my wrist hurt. Now, when I was younger, I was able to pretty much touch my hands together and my wrist would wouldn't hurt at all but now that I'm getting older my wrist hurt more so the main focus on when you're trying to do close grip bench press is your elbows going to your side instead of flaring out a little bit more like a normal bench press so I did a double drop set like I said I was dropping the weight by 25 pounds on each side going to failure which was around six to eight reps and on the last one that you're watching right now I tried to squeeze out 10 reps now moving on to the last exercise well two exercises because it is a super set for triceps i went with overhead rope extensions four sets of around 12 to 15 reps super set with bench push-ups it was a close grip and you'll see what that is in a second so the focus here is leaning forward and then when i go back with the rope stretching back and then at the end of that motion pulling that rope apart and then supersetting with the bench close grip push-ups so what i'm trying to focus on there is squeezing at the top of that range of motion so when i go up i squeeze together so this is going to be focusing on both chest and triceps but that's the end of the workout i hope you enjoyed it if you want to give this workout a try it'll be written down in the description box hope you enjoy the rest of the video and the other workout don't forget to give this video a like and i'll talk to you in the next workout so I'm back home from that workout and we just got done eating not too long ago. Right now it's 8.30, Brady's about to head off to bed and then I'm gonna get a shower and then go upstairs and work on clients' programs. I got three new ones this week so I need to get all that stuff done so they can have it in the morning. So guys, nothing much is gonna be going on here tonight so I'm gonna see you tomorrow. So it's the next day, we're up in my office. I want to show you my office when it's clean before he messes it up right you're gonna mess it all up this place is spotless right now we brought up the block so like in five seconds those are gonna be all over the floor and everything that's up on my desk is gonna be on the floor as well so today is gonna be a pool workout so I believe I'm gonna have two workouts in one video like I did the last time a lot of people like having the push-pull legs in the same video so I think that's gonna happen again but before we go to the gym I need to work on some clients programs and I'm working on my Instagram workout and here we go. Is that fun? Is that fun? Oh my gosh. Oh. Is that fun? It is so very hard to get any kind of work done with Brady, right? This kid has been all up in my face. He was crying, so I had to pick him up, and I've been holding him for the past like 30 minutes, and he has been spun around just like this, grabbing my face, giving me kisses and stuff. He's super sweet, but oh my gosh, it is so hard to get anything done. <laughs> what are you doing, Brady? <laughs> are you cute? Are you cute? Yes, you are. You're very cute. And that's why I can't put him down. So Brady finally let me put him down and he's been whining on and off. Check out my office now. It is a total disaster.
You messed up my office, dude. How do you feel? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you want a fist bump? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, fist bump. Me. Boom. Uh. So now I'm currently working on our new business. Now, I only mentioned this, I think, one time in my vlog that we're starting up a new company, and I'm so excited. We're finally able to purchase the domain. We had to go through all kinds of legal stuff first to make sure that the name wasn't taken and that we could make this into a company. But now we're finally moving forward with it. I'll let y'all know later down the road what the company is and the steps we're taking to get this off the ground, but I am so excited to get this thing going. One hour later. So now it's 4.30, I've been up here working and I need to go to the gym because it is getting later and later and it's a Monday. So it's gonna be pretty packed, but I am gonna go to the gym that is normally not that bad and I can record, get the big tripod and stuff. So that is a big plus. So I just found out that I'm actually going down to San Antonio tomorrow, which is Tuesday until Thursday. So Shelby's mom is having surgery and Shelby needs to take care of her. So I'm going down there to watch Brady. So I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be videoing. Shelby's like, you can video when you're down there at my mom's house. It's just something different about being somewhere else when you're videoing. I don't like to vlog other places and that's why I don't vlog when I'm with my family and vice versa I'm with her family because it's just strange and I don't like being out of my comfort zone I guess and then on top of that I'm not going to be able to record at the gym because the gym I go down to down there is always so packed and it's a gold's gym and I don't know any of the trainers or any of the workers there so for sure I'm not going to be able to record uh, so that's an issue because I need to get a lot of videos done. Uh, I am going to pack up all my editing stuff, so I will be editing this video while I'm down there, but I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to record, but we're going to have to make do. So now we're going to go downstairs, get a pre-workout, and head to the gym to get this pool workout started. Well, Brady just woke up, and if you can hear him down here, he doesn't sound like he is in that great of a mood. He woke up screaming, so that is not a good sign. What's wrong, Brady? You didn't get enough sleep? Oh no, he just shook his head at me. He was like, nope, Brady, come here. What's wrong? Now you're getting to see the real Brady. Oh no, you're showing him your evil side. What is this, milk? Oh, Brady, look, milk. You want some milk? Oh wow, goodness. He really did have a terrible nap. I'm gonna drink your milk. Gosh. Welcome back to the second workout in this video. So this is the pull workout and I started off with underhand grip pull downs. I did five sets of around 10 to 12 reps on the last set, did a double drop set and then moved on to deadlifts. Now a lot of people have been asking me why don't I deadlift during my back days? Well, I do, but not that often. And the reason is, is because I work legs twice a week and if I deadlifted every single back day, it would hinder my leg workouts because my lower back gets so sore. So I will deadlift maybe twice a month, but I don't do it in every single back day. And during my leg workouts, I always do stiff leg deadlifts. So I have deadlifts in there. So like I said, if I did deadlifts every single workout, I would just be too sore and it would hinder my leg workout. So I did four sets, six to eight reps, and then I did one set of 10 reps. So a total of five sets. After that, went into single arm dumbbell rows I did four sets of 10 to 12 reps I went up to the 150 pound dumbbells here what I'm trying to focus on bringing that elbow back as far back as I can after that went into pinley rows now don't mistake these for regular bent over barbell rows because what you're trying to do here is keeping your back straight and you're not in an incline so I'm trying to keep my back as straight as possible pulling back, engaging my lats first before I pull. I did four sets of eight to 10 reps. I tried to go as heavy as I could go for those. After that, went into biceps. I did easy bar curls, four sets of 10 to 12 reps, and the last set did a double drop set. So I'm trying to go slow and controlled here. So I'm going up, squeezing up at the top, going down in a controlled manner. So I'm not just slinging the weight up, going uh, really quick, trying to get that time under tension as much as I can. Next and last movement for biceps is dumbbell seated hammer curls. I did four sets of around 12 to 15 reps, both arms at the same time, and then when I would hit failure, I would switch into alternating so that I can squeeze out a few more reps. And then moving into the last movement, 
for the whole entire workout besides abs, and you'll see what I do for abs in a little bit, is bent over dumbbell reverse flies. I did five sets of around 10 to 12 reps on the last set, did a double drop set. Now, rear delts is one of those muscles that people don't really work that often. Now, I really suggest working rear delts a good bit because that's gonna give you that overall big shoulder look. It's gonna fully cap off those shoulders. So as you can see, I'm trying to keep my back straight, squeezing when I go back, not using too much weight where I'm not able to control the weight. And that is the last movement of this pull workout besides working abs. So I did a superset with abs. I did four rounds of around 12 to 15 reps on each one of these exercises. So the first one was rope crunches. I went as heavy as I could go for those reps. So the reason why I like using a rope and cables for abs is that you're able to up the weight as much as you need to to hit failure. Because a lot of people when they work abs don't actually go to failure. They go for a lot of reps and that's not gonna help develop your abs. And then I superset it with these bench leg tucks. I did the exact same rep range. Uh, did those back-to-back -back supersetting, only resting for around 45 seconds in between sets. That's the end of the workout. This one will also be written down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. So just wrapped up that workout, got my protein powder right here. I was gonna do cardio afterwards, but tomorrow is gonna be my off day, so I decided I'm gonna do my cardio tomorrow. Uh, because I don't want to get in the habit of doing too much cardio right now because if I do I have nothing to progress through later on in my prep uh, I'm telling you Texas is crazy with weather yesterday. It was like 75 degrees today It is around 35 tomorrow. It's gonna be about the same so this weather Constantly goes up and down it gets hot one day and then it gets cold the other so now We're gonna head home see mr. Brady and Shelby it's dinner time. Shelby cooked some homemade meatloaf. We got uh, homemade mashed potatoes, broccoli, and Brady's enjoying the exact same thing. We will see what he actually eats. I'm guessing just the potatoes, and that's the first thing he goes for. That kid loves carbs. I'm not sure if he's gonna like the meatloaf or not with the ketchup on there. I know for sure he's not gonna eat any of the broccoli, right Brady? So now Brady's about to head off to bed. Right Brady, you go to sleep? Are you tired? <laughs> I don't know what kind of faces he is making. Not yet, not yet. We got to end the video here. We got to end it first, okay? But anyways, after Brady goes down to sleep, me and Shelby watch some TV, and then I'm probably playing some more video games or something. <laughs> So I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. All right, guys, peace. Fist bump. Boom. <laughs>